So I'm here in my onion bed and I've just been noticing we got back from the Homestead Conference in Tennessee and when we got back we really noticed um, that the onions are, there's a lot of them that are ready to harvest. So I'm really excited. Um, I've actually never, I don't know, for some reason grown onions of my own um, and they have done so well this year and it's so fun and so fulfilling to watch them grow and the stalks get real big um but anyway so i'm going to harvest a bunch of them today and i thought i'd share with you what i'm going to do with them to dry them and cure them and then i'm going to save them up um in my house so i don't have to buy store-bought onions so as you can see here there's a few ways that you can know that they're um good and ready to harvest if you'll see on these they really start popping out of the ground a lot more you can see some of these are still a little bit more hidden these are really just almost just laying right on top of the ground. And if you'll notice, the stalks have just naturally fallen over and they're starting to dry. So that's kind of when you can know um, that a lot of them are ready. And I cannot wait to eat that giant purple one right there that looks so scrumptious. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the ones here that I feel like are the most ready. Um, and then I'm going to show you my process of what I'm gonna do to dry them out and cure them for storage. Um, but first, so you're going to just take the ones that are all falling over that you think are ready and you're going to grab right at the base. And I'm not really sure what's more satisfying <laughs> than picking big old onions out of the garden. Just the sound of those roots coming up. Is that not gorgeous? Mmm, and the smell is so good. Mmm, I cannot wait to eat these. Actually, we're going to go fry some up for dinner too grandma we would go buy green onions is that not yummy we would go buy green onions even smaller than this one's at the farmer's market we take them home wash them up and we just eat them my favorite thing to do is to eat a big old burger and just take a big old bite um, a fresh onion so good So I've got this panel back here, um, this wire panel that we had used actually for a trellis in our garden, but this one we have down for right now. So I watched a video on uh, all the curing methods, you know, and one of the best ones I saw that I liked the most was you use one of these. I'm just under a covered back porch. Um, it's north facing and so, th so there's no direct sun. Um, there's good ventilation and unless it's a pretty strong storm, it doesn't tend to get rained on. So I thought it'd be the perfect location. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these onions and each onion gets its own square. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the stalk through the holes. And it's going to allow the onion stalks to hang down. And gravity, this will help gravity to pull that extra moisture out much quicker. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm all done. I haven't even counted how many onions I harvested. I did not harvest them all. I'll leave some for later. They weren't quite ready. You wanna hand me another one? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Good job, my little helper. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing this until they're all done. Oh my goodness, that's a giant one. So I'm not sure how many times I can say how 
awesome the homestead conference was this weekend um we i think our minds are still just reeling from all the all the information that it's full of um we came back with lots of plans for our family lots of plans for our homestead um and we're really really excited but we also have to know that we have to take it one step at a time and we can't get ourselves ahead of ourselves um we actually came up last night and um, as soon as we got home, we actually went and <laughs> I realized how much I had um, underdone in the garden. So we actually went to our local greenhouse and bought some of what we could. Um, that's not our preference, but you know, when you, when you realize that you've underdone, then, you know, I still, I still figure when you buy stuff like that local that you haven't grown, it's still much better, much healthier than growing in any grocery store. So we went and did that um, and we're going to get those in the ground. And then we actually came out here and we've been wanting to get goats for a while now, but after the conference, we just have, I think, a much better idea of how we want to do it and what we want to do exactly and maybe when we want to do it. So we actually came out last night and I'll probably insert some of those clips. Um, we came out and started measuring for where all we think we can put it all. I think I've said before, but I'll say it again that, you know, something that was so reiterated and, and um, just ignited us this weekend was that, you know, we feel like we have an acre and a half and we feel like, you know, that's not a lot. Some of these people have 40 acres or even 10 acres, you know, we just don't have that. And the cost of land, as you know, right now is ridiculous. Um, but I think that <laughs> I think that um, the biggest thing is that everybody said, you know, you can do so much with so little. And when we start mapping it out and really, when we start mapping it out and really measuring, we're like, yeah, we have a lot more than we think. And we're so grateful for what we have. And so we are going to tend to the land that God's given us until he might bless us with more. So until next time.